Welcome to Jim's Christian Store. Hey, thanks. Listen, uh, I was wanting to get my girlfriend a new crucifix necklace for her birthday. Uh, where would those be? Yeah. I'm sorry, sir. We don't we don't carry crucifixes. Oh, well, uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I guess as long as I'm here, though, my Bible is getting kind of worn. Uh, where would you keep those? I, I, I'm so sorry. We don't carry Bibles either. You, you don't carry Bibles? No, sir. Well, you know, with all respect... Uh, what kind of Christian store doesn't sell Bibles? Sir, perhaps you misunderstood. When we say we're a Christian store, what we mean is that we sell Christians. You, you sell what? Christians, sir. They're very popular among lions and lion enthusiasts. Oh, my God. <laughs> in fact, sir, if you ever find your family in a financial bind, well... You'd bring a good price yourself. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's really quite painless. If you would like to see our promotional video, I, I, I can... Uh, excuse me. I, I have to go, go Go now. Oh, man, that guy's crazy. Oh, uh, man, I better uh, duck into this place right here for a minute before he follows me. Welcome to All Things Buddhist. My name is Zero. How may I help you, sir? Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. This probably sounds real crazy, but you don't, uh, like, sell Buddhists or anything like that, do you? No, sir. Of course not. <sighs> that would be crazy, wouldn't it? Yes, yes. Crazy. Crazy is definitely the word. Um, you, but you know this place next door? Um, uh, never mind. Uh, listen, I don't really know much about Buddhism. Maybe you can help me. Um, do you have any good books on the subject? There are no books. Excuse me? There are no books. Uh, okay. Well, I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, are you saying that there are no books on Buddhism at all? Or that you just don't have any here? There is no here. Uh, okay. <laughs> you have none here. <sighs> see, see, I thought for a minute you were going to say that, like, uh, there are no books on Buddhism anywhere. <laughs> and, well... <laughs> You know, that that, that, <laughs> that that would just be crazy. Of course, sir. Well, hey, listen. That's a beautiful lamp right there. You know, my girlfriend would really like that. Um, is it for sale? There is no lamp. Oh, well, yeah, there is. See, right there. It's in the corner. There is no corner. There is no corner? There is no corner. There is no corner. Well, okay. Um, thank you. And uh, I guess I'll be going now. There is no now. Okay, that guy was f***ing nuts. Hmm. All right, well, this place looks interesting. Welcome to Assistentialist Emporium. I'm John Paul. How may I help you? Oh, hi. Um, listen, what, what, what kind of stuff do you have for sale here? Anything you want, sir. All right, okay. Now, this is more like it. Hmm, well, let's see. Um, hmm, well, it, it, it's rather empty in here, isn't it? I suppose that's one way of looking at it, sir. It's really what you choose to make of it. Hmm, well, okay, what I make of it is that the only thing in here, well, beside the two of us, is a small table with a chair bolted to it. And what do you think of that? Uh, I think the chair faces away from the table. Yes, it does. Hmm. Well, that kind of makes the chair and the table uh, sort of totally useless, doesn't it? Oh, I wouldn't be so bold as to presume, sir. If you think it's useless, then it's useless for you. Well, of course it's useless. I mean, really, who would want a table with a chair bolted facing away from it? Sir, if I may ask, do you own a table yourself? Of course. And do you own a chair? Yes. So why would you choose for those tables and chairs to have value for you while these do not? Well, see, my chairs are usually arranged so that they face the tables such that people can, you know, <laughs> eat. Okay, so you have chosen facilitation of dining as the primary purpose of furniture. Others may choose to use furniture for other purposes. I choose to use this furniture as a prism for understanding the existence or non-existence of God. Oh, I get it. It's a conversation piece. If you desire, sure, it's a conversation piece. Okay, okay, okay. It's great, great, great. Is it for sale? Do you want it to be for sale? I, I, I think I do. Then it's for sale. Great. How much? 
How much do you think it's worth? Oh, man. I hate haggling. Do we have to do this? So it's, uh, it's not worth haggling? No, 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 no. Now you're twisting my words. Oh, that's certainly not my intent. I just want to know what this table and chair is worth to you. Well, um, <laughs> uh, I guess I'd pay a hundred bucks for the whole thing. Uh, then it's worth a hundred bucks. <laughs> wow. Hey, that was easy. It's what you make of it. You know, you're, you're a real barrel of laughs, aren't you? I am if you want me to be. Uh, never mind. Um, who do I make the check out to? You may make the check out to whomever you wish. Um, what? You may make the check out to whomever you wish. Okay. So, I could make this check out to, say, hmm, Al Camu. <laughs> and that would be okay with you? Oh, it could be, or it could be miserable for me. Hmm, okay. Well, I, I guess I'll just make it out to John Paul's. What the hell is that? Oh, that's just our store line. He sounds a little hungry. Um, can you just wait here just a moment while I go over to the Christian store? The Good Show.